ladies who consider yourselves liberals, Democrats, whatever, on the left in general, what do you think about dating guys that are on the left or consider themselves liberal as compared to dating guys who are on the right or consider themselves conservatives? I know we see all the videos here all the time, you ladies talking about how dating guys on your side of the aisle is kind of a joke and it's hard to find a guy that actually acts like the kind of guy you want. That as a guy embraces his traditional masculinity and does those kind of traditional things that actually makes a woman attracted and want to be with him. And I know my personal experience, I've got 10 years in politics actual party politics, talking to both parties, mainly about the Second Amendment and then this horrific thing we got called the drug war. So I got a little bit of experience dealing with both guys on the right and guys on the left. And I've seen the same thing. I mean, right now, we look statistically, I think something like 73% of women under age 35 count themselves as liberal, whereas on the male side, it's almost the exact opposite. It's like 38% consider themselves to be liberal. And that right there kind of shows you the huge key difference. Female mentalities tend to be one that's more collectively minded and more minded around dependence and collective dependence, whereas male mentalities tend to be more focused around independence and providing for themselves. And we see that split perfectly in politics. But we see all these videos about girls talking about how these liberal guys are essentially their children looking for a mommy or they're just kind of loser types with no ambition, no drive. They want the woman to do a lot of the things that the men are supposed to do in the relationships. That's kind of the same thing I see. So let me just ask you guys, ladies, y'all consider yourselves liberals. Do you go for liberal guys? I mean, now it'd be easier to go with a guy who just holds your same beliefs politically and stuff. But do you really go for the kind of guys who aren't the guys you want? Or do you end up going for guys who tend to be on the right? Who tend to be that more masculine, that more traditional manliness, even if it means they politically disagree with you? I don't know, I just look around and I see the average guy on the left nowadays, especially young ones. They're not the Democrats of my grandparents at my dad's age. They're like feminized, woke little soy boys. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the average guy who considers himself a liberal, in my eyes, I don't even want to talk to him because he's not worth talking to. Because typically he's a low testosterone, woke, weak, soft guy who doesn't want to stand up and have ambition to go places in his own life. He wants somebody else to take care of that. And to me, it just seems like it'd be really annoying for a woman having to date guys who essentially want to act like women who want to have a cultural kind of relationship based off femininity instead of based off of that dynamic and the difference between males and females instead of embracing their masculinity and their strengths and their, dare I say, leadership and ambition and wants to do something more for and above their woman and instead it replaces that with this collective idea of dependence we're all dependent on each other. She's, I'm dependent on her. I'm dependent on my woman. That's why we go 50-50. That's why we split the bills because at the end of the day, it isn't on me as a man. It's not my job to, re to lead this relationship somewhere amazing. No, it's my lady's job, my new mommy's job to take care of me. Just like I want the government to take care of me. So ladies, let me know. What do you prefer? Do you find the woke joke, soy boys? attractive or do you find the more masculine independent minded guys on the right attractive and how bad does that bug you <laughs>